we surrounded with mountains. So we staying in the middle of the mountains. So we're gonna have a lot of rain, we're gonna have a lot of wind. And um, have you been here in winter already? The snow, how can you not? No, man, how can you not come out of Cape Town to come watch the snow on the mountains? Beautiful, like a little Switzerland. Beautiful, very beautiful. I love this place. <laughs> I, I can't help it, I love this place. If you come in um, spring, where the trees started getting green and um, all the flowers are coming out, oh, it's paradise. Beautiful. Jan Franschuk is a seasonal food and wine experience. Hosted in one of the oldest and perhaps most solitary farmhouses in the beautiful valley of Franschuk. A stranger to this small little house could easily think that the most charming thing about it is also its most complicating attribute. It's cozy, intimate, warm, and snug. In other words, particularly small. How much of a fine dining experience can you really fit into a mere 100 square meters? The skepticism only lasts until you start considering the surrounding Fainbos field, the river, and mountains as much a part of its structure as the blue gum ceiling beams and 19th century stone walls. It feels impossible to find craftsmanship that will match that of a 100 year old house. But the timelessness of Caesar Stone's outdoor collection makes it really easy. When you see the wide open green space around Fierpos as another expansive room to utilize, when you do as much of your daily work outdoors as you can, the chef's experience at Fearpools comes alive with vastness. It feels easy to breathe and you catch yourself being curious and carefree, wildly in awe of the unpredictable magic only nature can bring to the table on even the tamest of Tuesdays. Much of the daily work of a chef is mise en place, an idea that holds value far beyond the borders of professional cooking. It's a French term referring to the preparation for service in a restaurant. Directly translated to English, it means setting in place. The thing that I love about Mise en Place is that it's a million little things in service of the chef's vision for the final plate. The menu at Jan van Juk is entirely dependent on nature's Mise en Place. Nature's setting in place of what we need when we need it its commitment to taking care of us and the precision with which it regards time. Out in the valley where the wind, rain and light changes by the hour, you can see and feel time moving. You get to live 10 different days from sunrise to sunset. I work in the kitchen for 100 years. So <laughs> where I come from, it well, it's like in 
rush. You have to prep and you have to be ready for, for a dinner or lunch or whatever. And, but this place is like in... Like in relax. You prep the whole day, yes, but it's not like in a rush the way I'm used to. And I told Andrew also, I love this whole environment, this building. Oma's compays. Yeah, I, it's, she, this kitchen reminds me about my Oma's kitchen. I love this place. They only put one table where different people sit at that one table. So I don't know you, but I sit at the same table as you and we can talk to each other. Oh, that's, that's a brilliant idea. That was one of Jan's most brilliant ideas. <laughs> To be a part of the story of the region and to have a future that honors its history, you must work and live outward in search of everything you do not yet know. There's nothing like a hundred square meter house to remind you of that. To remind you to go outside as often as you can and to keep company that makes that more often 